fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Hard-riding posses, vicious killers, dangerous captures. Such scenes of action violently colored the development of the early western frontier. But despite the daring of criminals, the posses and officers of the law usually got their man. Outlaws were captured, convicted, and imprisoned. Most served their time, but constantly behind iron bars, the more desperate plotted and schemed. Prison walls were not always a barrier. Outlaws did try for freedom. something important to be riding that fast, Hunter. Plenty important, Kimasabi. Man who looked like Flynn Foster stop at cow camp north of here yesterday. Him ask if anyone know where Roy Foster live. So he didn't head for the border like they thought he would. No doubt he's looking for his brother. You know where Roy live now? Yes, he and his wife run a little ranch near here. They're honest, law-abiding citizens. You think them help Flint? I'm afraid they won't have much choice if Flint ever finds them. What we do to stop him? I'll try to see Roy and warn him that Flint's coming. You break up camp. Then find the sheriff and tell him to be ready for trouble. Where may meet you? Near the crossroads on the other side of town. Roy's place is near there. Maybe there. Mm. Good. Roy, stop it. What's it going to be, honey? You'll find out when it's finished. As if I didn't know. My favorite dessert. We have to celebrate today somehow. Did you get the money all you right? You bet. I sold all the cattle. There it is. One thousand dollars. Gold. I never saw so much. The last payment. You know, honey, after I take that to the bank this afternoon, this ranch will belong to us, free and clear. Oh, Roy, I wish you hadn't brought it here first. Why not? I keep thinking about Flint. He's been out of jail two weeks now. Oh, don't worry, honey. He's sure to head for the border. Why, well, he doesn't even know where we live. He can find out if he tries hard enough. Oh, you got to stop worrying about that brother of mine. Now see what you've done. I must look a sight. You do look a sight. A beautiful sight. I'm afraid you're prejudiced. You know, I never should have bought you this mirror. Always standing in front of it, primping. Oh, is that so? Well, a woman's got to have something to keep her morale up. Who could that be? Roy, it's a masked man. If that's one of Flint's friends, I'll take care of him right now. Oh, Roy, be careful. Stay back, Edie. 
Hold it, mister. You're not stopping here. You're Roy Foster. I must talk to you. The only way I talk to masked men is with this. Oh, Roy, look, it's ruined. What do we do now? I'll try to stall him somehow. Quick, get that money out of sight. I'm sorry I had to do that, Roy. You shouldn't have tried to shoot. Mind if I come in? I wouldn't try it. You're covered from inside. From inside? Huh. You mean your wife? No, I don't mean my wife. I mean someone else. Someone who's a better shot than I am. How do I know you're not lying? His gun's aimed right at this door. Try it and find out whether I'm lying or not. My husband means what he says, mister. You'd better be on your way. If a man's in that back room, why doesn't he show himself? Because he's got good reasons not to. Now get out before he blows your head off. All right, Foster. You win. Oh, Roy, he believed you. I hope you kept your fingers crossed while I was telling them that lie. He was. Oh, another one of Flint's escaped convict friends. Flint probably told him where to find me and that I'd hide him out. Oh, speaking of hiding things, where'd you hide the gold? What gold? You know what gold. The thousand dollars that makes this ranch belong to us. Oh, <laughs> that. Darling, you'd never guess. Well, for Pete's sake, tell me. I buried it. Buried it? In here? Mm -hmm. I buried it so that masked man will never find it. But where? I think I'll keep that a secret. Oh, no, you won't. Flint. Hello, Roy. Hi, Edie. What are you doing here? Heading for the border. The border's in the other direction. I didn't say which border. That's where I fooled them all. What do you want from us? Lots of things. Food, clothes, and all the cash you got. I wasn't counting on a thousand dollars in gold. Gold? We have no gold. I heard her say different. Where did you bury it? Oh, that? Why, well, I was only joking. Sure, Flint, she didn't mean it. I think she did. Where is it? Get your hands off her. I wouldn't do that again, Roy, even if you are my brother. I've killed men for less. Now, where did you bury that gold? I tell you, there is no gold. If you don't believe us, look for yourself. Don't worry, Edie. That's just what I'm going to do. This Sheriff Barnes, Kimasabi. Howdy, Sheriff. Sorry. Him come back with me and want to help us. I sure do, friend. If Flint Foster's anywhere around, we've got to catch him fast. I'm glad you're here, Sheriff. It was you I was writing to get. You tell Roy Foster him brother may be coming? No, Tano, I didn't get a chance to. Roy mistook me for a bandit. Almost gunned me down. See any sign of Flint? I'm not sure. He might have been hiding in the back room. You see, I didn't want to force my way in. If he threw lead, Roy and his wife might have gotten hurt. What do we do now? Well, Sheriff, we'll ride back there together. When they see you with me, they'll know I'm no bandit. The important thing is to get a look inside that house without forcing Flint to use gunplay. What do you want me to do, Kimasabi? El Tano, look around Roy's ranch. See if you can find any sign of Flint's horse. Uh, me do. Good idea. And we'd better get there pronto. Roy told me he was coming into town today to pay off the last thousand dollars on his ranch. If Flint ever sees that money first, he'll grab it sure. All right, Sheriff, let's go. Now, will you believe me? We told you there was no gold. I guess I'll have to. Was buried in this kitchen. I sure would have found it. Then you won't mind if I start cleaning up the mess you've made. Go right ahead, Edie. Always the neat little housewife. I could have sworn you two weren't joking about that money. Believe me, Flint. If there's any gold buried around here, I don't know where it is. If there had been any gold, I wonder where you would have hidden it, Roy. Well, now that you know there is none, you better be on your way. The law might catch up with you. <laughs> it almost did just now. What do you mean? That masked man you were fool enough to chase away. He's been on my trail for two weeks. 
He's the only one who's come even close to catching me. You mean he wasn't in prison with you? Prison? He's put plenty of others there, but not himself. Well, hadn't you better go before he comes back? Sure, Roy. I'll go tonight. It's safer then. Right now, I want some grub. Hey, something smells mighty good. <laughs> A cake? Why didn't you tell me, Edie? There's nothing I like better. Don't you dare, Flint. It's not ready yet. I won't have you spoiling it. Okay, Edie. I can wait. I'll have it for dessert. It looked done to me. Go on, give him a slice of that. will get rid of him any quicker. And disappoint poor Mr. and Mrs. Baker? I certainly will not. You know it's for their anniversary. Their, their anniversary? Yes, dear. Their golden anniversary. Don't you remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I remember. She's right, Flint. She baked it for them. So it's too good for your brother, eh? Look, you. I'm sick of the treatment I'm getting. I take what I want when I want it. Now rustle me up some grub proddle. Then I'm cutting myself a big slice of that cake. Anniversaries or no anniversaries. You're gonna have to change your plans, Flint. What do you mean? That masked man's come back and he's got company this time. The sheriff. Look, Roy. Get rid of him. Paul, I don't care how, but do it. I'll be hiding behind those curtains with my gun on Edie. If there's so much as hint that I'm here, I'll let her have it. Well, howdy, Roy. Mind if we come in? Why, no, Sheriff, but the masked man. Yeah, I know he was here before. Hello, Edie. We meet again. You made a mistake about him, son. He came to give you a warning. A warning? That's right, Roy. I couldn't talk when you said somebody had me covered from the back room. Is he there now? There's nobody there. The last time you told yes, me Yes, that... I know. I, I thought you were a bandit, and I had to think of something to get rid of you. I see. So you were lying. Yes. What was the warning you have for us? I have reason to believe your brother Flint may be coming here. Flint? Coming here? Why, you wouldn't dare. I'm afraid he's desperate enough to do anything, Roy. He's been out of jail two weeks now. They said he'd head for the border. That's just what everybody expected him to do. But Flint's too smart to do that. You sure you haven't seen any sign of him around here? Don't you think we'd tell the sheriff if we had? Hey, do I smell something burning? Oh, my cake! I'll get it. Here, let me. Say, it looks good. What kind is it? It's mighty heavy. <laughs> I guess I added too much sugar. You'd better put it on the sink and let it cool. Well, heavier or not, it uh, sure smells good. You wouldn't want to offer a slice to a hungry sheriff, would you? Oh, uh, we can't do that. It's a, it's a present for someone. Oh, I'll cook another one, Roy. After all, the sheriff's such a good friend. I think we ought to give him this one and let him take it home. For heaven's sakes, Edith, that's mighty kind of you. But I wouldn't know what to do with the whole cake. You just cut me a slice. I'll settle for that. But I can't do that now, Sheriff. It's, it's too hot. Then save me a piece. I'll pick it up later. Well, I guess we've done our duty, warned them about Flint. Shall we go now? All right, Sheriff. You'll keep your eyes open for him, won't you? Don't worry, mister. If we see him coming, we'll get word to you somehow. Trouble is, Roy, you might not see him coming. Is there any other door to the house? No, it's the only one. How about the windows? Mind if I have a look back there? Of course not. Come right ahead. That window lock's broken. Roy will fix it. Would be safer. Mind if I have a look in there? Well, mister, you're satisfied he isn't here? Guess I'll have to be, Roy. Well, folks, sorry to have bothered you. If we hear any more about Flint, we'll let you know. Let's go, Sheriff. We'll see if anyone else in this vicinity has seen Flint. Oh, uh, by the way, Roy, do you want me to take that thousand dollars into the bank for you? Uh, what thousand dollars? Why, Roy, the last thousand you owe for this ranch. You told me you'd have it for sure. Oh, that. Well, uh, I'm afraid I can't give it to you at the moment. You said you were selling your cattle to get the money. Uh, something go wrong? No, everything's fine, but uh, there's been a little delay. Well, don't delay past six o'clock tonight. I'd sure hate to put you off your ranch tomorrow. Don't worry, Sheriff. We'll try to dig it up somehow. 
Are you sure you wouldn't like to take this cake home with you? No, thanks. I'll get my slice later. Bye. By the time that sheriff gets back here, I'll be gone. Are you leaving right away? Of course not, Edie. There's not that much of a hurry. I still want that grub. And a nice thick slice of this cake. But it's burned, Flint. I'm sure you won't like it. I'm sure I will. Any cake as heavy as this one must be filled with good things. Now rustle up some food. Find Flint's horse tunnel? Yes, Kimosabe. Him hide horse in gully right near here. He is somewhere around. He must be heading for the house. Not heading for it, Sheriff. Already there. You mean he was there when we were? Yes. I caught a glimpse of Flint behind those curtains. Well, then why you leave him there? He had his gun pointing at Roy and Edith. I had no choice. So they were lying all the time? Not lying, Sheriff. Just trying to save their lives and ours. How we capture Flint without hurting other two? I have an idea, Tonto. It's dangerous, but there's a slim chance it might work. Whatever it is, friend, we gotta risk it. You just tell Tonto me what you'd like us to do. My only hope is to take Flint completely by surprise. I think I can do that better alone. You and Tonto wait by Flint's horse in case he makes a break for it. What do you have in mind, Kimasabi? The curtains Flint hid behind, Tonto. That's a game two can play at. That was good, Edie. Real good. Now finish off with a nice big hunk of that cake. Cut me a piece. Well, come on. Don't keep me waiting. I can't, Flint. It's too hard. Let me try, Edie. I'm stronger than you. It won't taste good. Why not? Is there something in it that shouldn't be there? Give me that knife. Sharp enough to cut through any cake. is hard. I won't let you do it. Edie and I worked hard for this money. We'll lose the ranch if we don't pay it. That's tough. You sniveling fool. Did you think you could trick me? So you didn't have any money to pay off this ranch. You were going to dig it up somehow. I'll say you're going to dig it up. Right out of that cake. Well. Isn't that a pretty sight? Now pick him up for me. You in there. Come out with your hands up. Come in and get me. I've got my gun on Mrs. Foster. If you don't show yourself in ten seconds, I'll let her have it. He means it, mister. Please come out. All right, Flint. You win. Drop those guns. So it's you again. You're a fool to come back here. You're a fool not to give yourself up, Flint. You'll be caught sooner or later. Not now, I won't. You're the only one who'll come even close to catching me. And I won't give you that chance again. You wouldn't shoot him down in cold blood, would you? Wouldn't I? I've heard about you, mister. They say you've been in lots of tight spots, but you always come out alive. I've managed so far. Well, you'll have to pull a miracle to do it this time. My gun's aimed right at your heart, and there's no way I can miss. I wouldn't count on that, Flint. You won't have to. I'll do the counting. 
And the last number you'll ever hear is three. One, two, three. <laughs> Just in time. You won't have to worry anymore, Roy. Flint's going back to prison where he belongs. I'm sorry I had to let him break your mirror, Mrs. Foster. It doesn't matter. Seems like a lot of things got broken today. <laughs> Look at my poor cake. <laughs> there you are, Sheriff. What's the matter? Sure, there's none of them gold pieces in this. I just got my new store teeth. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Sheriff. There's the gold, all of it. And right on time, like you promised. I reckon you're sure enough landowners now. I wish that masked man and the Indian could have stayed longer. I made enough cake for all of us. Don't worry. I'll eat their share. Oh, by the way, Sheriff, you never did tell us. Who is the masked man? Yep. Yeah. Why, son, that's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Phil! 